somebody stop him, stop him. कामसंद्रिय प्रीति लाभ जीवित जावता जीव सतत विज्ञासा न अर्थ जस्ते हो कर्म भी दिस भर्स वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग फॉर द लास्ट टू डे इट्स वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट स्पेशली फॉर द मॉर्निंग civilized men that they are for simply sensitivity inventing so many things simply for sensitivity <coughs> so to the sanity says that sense gratification is required but Not ah uh, simply we shall devote our life for simply. There is another business. Ah, uh, kamasya na indriya pi, lusty sense gratification. Not for there is demand. The sense demands some satisfaction, ah, uh, but not for uh, for the sake of sense gratification. Just like sex life, sex life there is demand, but that should be utilized for begetting nice children, not for sense getting. Dharma virudha kama ascha ahamasmi. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, sense gratification, which is not against the religious principle, that is not. Sense gratification is there is also, just like the Radha Krishna. Ah, that is chinma, chini mithun. Ah, mithun means dual couple, the spiritual couple. Similarly, here also the same spiritual. Identities are there, but because it is covered by this material uh, body, uh, it is parvart. So, just like uh, when you are diseased, uh, we cannot enjoy life. That is forbidden. Uh, if one is suffering from tuberculosis and if he wants to enjoy. Sex life. That means he is bringing death. Similarly, in this material condition of life, if we want to uh, aggravate our sense gratification process, then we invite very prominent, uh, uh, very quickly death. Death means ah uh, spiritual death to become more and more entangled. In material things, uh, therefore, Bhagavad says, Sutta Goswami says that this life, human life, uh, or the followers of the Vedic civilization, uh, they are not meant for karma, sir, no indriya priti, karma. That should be uh, utilized for better purpose, not for sense gratification. The real business is jiva satatva jigrasa. Life should be uh, engaged simply for tattva jigrasa to understand the absolute truth. Uh, the whole Vedic literature, Vedic knowledge, is meant for uh, understanding the absolute truth. Krishna says, "Vedas to sarvai ahami ma vedam." The purpose of studying Veda means to understand Krishna. And Vedanta bhi, because people are very much proud, especially Mahabadi philosophers, 
They are very much proud of becoming Vedans. So, uh, the Vaishnava philosophers stop there. Everyone is Vedanti. Uh, Sri Ramanucharya, he is also Vedanti. Madhacharya, he is also Vedanti. Nimbarka, he is also Vedanti. Without understanding Vedanta, uh, where is the question of spiritual advancement? So Vedanta does not mean it is the monopoly of a certain class of philosophers. No. Actual Vedanta, this Vedanta Bhasya understanding of Vedanta is the Srimad Bhagavata, Bhasyam Brahma Sutra. And this Bhasya, this commentary is given by the author himself. The purpose of Vedanta is known to the author. Therefore, if he personally gives the commentary, that is very perfect. Uh, <clears throat> Krishna also said, Vedanta Vid, Vedanta Kritya Hom. I am the compiler of Vedanta and I am the knower of Vedanta. The, that is, uh, day is incarnation of Krishna. That Krishna says, uh, I, I am the actual knower of Vedanta. So whatever is said by Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, that is not against Vedanta Sutra or what is spoken in the Srimad Bhagavata, that is not, that is actually following the Vedanta Sutra. Now here as it is said that Jiva Satatva Jitnasa and then Vedanta Sutra begins with this word. Athato Brahma Jigyasa. So, Nartha, Jastiha Karma Bhi. Generally, people are very much attached to Karma Kanda, uh, offering, performing great sacrifices. Uh, it has become now a fashion to Oh, call Gita Jagga, this Jagga, that Jagga. But actually, uh, real purpose is uh, Tattvijasa, the Nartha Jastya Karma Bhi, the performance of Jagga is a karma, prescribed duty. Uh, Jagga Dana Tapakriya. Jagga, performing Jagga. But in this age, no other Jaggas can be performed perfectly. It is not possible. First deficiency is there is no Jagdik Brahma. Uh, formerly the Brahmins were so expert that by mantra they will ignite fire and they will test putting one animal in the fire they will take and make it again alive. That is the test of the uh, mantra. Uh, by mantra a an animal, animal put into the fire comes out again with rejuvenated life. Uh, people think that Gomez Yoga, Samet Yoga are meant for killing the animal. No. It was tasting the mantra of the Vedas, whether actually being pronounced, uh, that was the test. Just like in biological laboratory, the medical practice and the test with animals to observe the physiological and anatomical conditions. Similarly, but they cannot give life, they simply kill. But here in the Vedic Jagas, the animal was put in the fire and it was again taken alive. Because such Jagdit Brahman is not there in this Kali Yuga, therefore the, all the Jagas are forbidden. Asamidham Gavalam Mam. Asamidham Palapaitrikam. Devanin Sutat Sanyasam Palapaitrikam. 
Even sannyas he is also forbidden in this age. Uh, uh, karma sannyas, that is called karma sannyas. The uh, Vedic principle of sannyas is to give up this karma, karma with this yoga, and take sannyas. But Vaishnava sannyas is Sri Dandi sannyas. They, that means the living entity is offering his body, mind, and words for the service of the law. So Tridanda sannyas can be accepted in this age, uh, not otherwise. There are so many. So Bhagavad says, na artha jasteha karma bhi. This is not the purpose. Real purpose is to perform yoga means to satisfy the Supreme Personality of God and Vishnu. But this process of yoga is not possible in this age. Therefore, Shastra gives injunction. Kalo nasteva 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 katir natha. Harin nama harin nama harin nama iva kivalam. Sankirtanai prai jaggai jajanti hi sumedasa. These are the injunctions. Krishna varnam tisha krishna sangha pangasapa parasadam jaggai sankirtanai prai jajanti hi sumedasa. Sumedasa. Those who are possessing nice brain, not dull. And because the jaggai was performed in the Vedic Jew, so you have to perform yoga again in the same style. That is not possible. You cannot get even the ghee and so many things. That is not possible. Therefore, Shastra says, Jagai Shankirtanai Praja, Jajanti Shumedha. Uh, those who are intelligent persons, they perform the Shankirtan yoga, as it is being done here. Shankir, no other yoga is possible to be done in this age. But this can be done. And anyone can take part in it. You are seeing practically in the small children, they are also taking part. This is your job. Ah. And Tattva Jignasa, this Sankirtan Jagga and Tattva Jignasa means hear something from Srimad Bhagavatam Bhagavad That makes your life perfect. Uh, <clears throat> no other karma, no other karma can you reach out. Simply this yoga should be performed. Now, unless we take to tattva jiggasa, uh, we cannot get out of this material classes. Inquisitiveness, what is absolute truth? Now Srimad Bhagavad directly gives you information. What is Tattvas? What is that absolute truth? That absolute truth is described here. Badanti tat tattvida sattam. Tattvida. Tattvida means one who knows the absolute truth. You cannot understand what is absolute truth who is not. Tattvid. Tattvid means one who knows the uh, Supreme Personality. He is actually Veda is Sarvi Yaham Eva Vidya. So by studying Vedas, if one comes to the point of understanding Krishna, then he is Tattvid. Otherwise, uh, partial, that is explained here. Vadanti tat tattavida satyam jat jnanam adhyam. Tattagyan, there is no difference, tattagyan. But there are different angles of vision. Ah. Angles of Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavanati Sadhya. But different capacity. Ah. This I have explained many times. Just like uh, from darkness you come to the light. Tamasi ma jyotir gamat. 
come to the light. So the example is just like you are in a dark room and your friend or you want to come to the light, you come to the sunlight. So this tattva of gyan, uh, light, is also the sun sign, has connection with the sun. And uh, paramātmā, brahmeti paramātmeti, and bhagavānati. So tattva gyan, those who are trying to understand the absolute truth by uh, mental speculation or uh, mental exercises. There are many parties, they are, they are called theosophists and so many others. They are trying to understand. So those who are trying to understand the absolute truth by their own knowledge, not from the knowledge of the Supreme, our process is of a rohopantha, descending process. And the uh, Mahamadi philosopher's uh, policy or system is ascending policy. Uh, I want to understand the absolute truth by exercising my mental power. That is called ascending process or inductive process. But our process is deductive process. Uh, we, Krishna says, matta parataranyanya kinti jasi dhananyaya. We take it. We immediately take it. That Krishna is the Supreme Personality. We are not going to search out who is the Supreme. Because we are hearing from the Supreme, Krishna, then our business is finished. Here is the Supreme. So this is very natural. You are searching after the Supreme. This is one process, by your own need of knowledge. And another person is getting the knowledge directly from the Supreme, who is perfect. This is perfect process. Evam parampara praptam nivam raja sayavi, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita. Oh. The perfect knowledge received from Krishna. Oh. From Krishna the knowledge was received by Brahma. From Brahma the knowledge was received by Nara. From Nara the knowledge was received by Vyasde. From Vyasde the knowledge was received by Madhavani. In this way, Parampara, Sutra, the same knowledge was received by Madhavendra Puri. From Madhavendra Puri, uh, Ishwar Puri received the knowledge. From Ishwar Puri, Lord Chaitanya received the knowledge. From Lord Chaitanya, the six Goswamis. In this way, there is a Parampara system handing down the knowledge from disciple to from disciple to disciple, evam parampara. That is perfect knowledge. Uh, so those who are trying to understand the absolute truth by exercising their, exercising their limited knowledge. After all, we are living entities. Our knowledge is always imperfect. That we do not admit. But actually it is so. Because our senses are imperfect. I am very much proud of my eyes, but I cannot see as soon as the electricity light is not existing. I cannot see. Then what is the uh, importance of my eyes? My eyes can see under certain conditions. When there is sunlight, then I can see. At night I cannot see. Then what is the value of this eyes? The people will say that I cannot see. So what is the value of your eyes? Because you do not see, the fact cannot be zero. Ah. Therefore, it is called Srota Parampara, Srotriyam Brahmanishta. We have to receive the absolute knowledge ah, by this Srota Parampara, Srotriyam Brahmanishta. Just like Krishna says, Sakalena Jugunashtaparantapa. Because 
that process of hearing from the right person is now broken. Therefore, I am speaking the same truth Bhagavad Gita again unto you. Because you are my very dear friend and devotee. So, our process is that. We understand, we try to understand the absolute truth from the dear friend and devotee of Krishna. You can say Krishna is not directly present. How your knowledge can be perfect? My knowledge is not perfect. But because I hear from the dear friend and devotee of Krishna, therefore whatever I speak, that is perfect. I am not manufacturing. I may be imperfect. I am imperfect. Actually I am imperfect. But I am carrying the message, Krishna. Krishna says, I am the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We say, Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Krishna says that you surrender unto me. We say, surrender unto Krishna. So therefore, because there is no difference between Krishna's statement and my statement, therefore our knowledge is perfect. Personally I may not be perfect, but because we are carrying the message of Krishna and presenting as it is, that will be perfect. This is our process. <coughs> that is the recognized process, Vedic process. Sauta Parampara. So those who are anxious to understand the absolute truth by dint of imperfect knowledge. This is right conclusion. If your senses are imperfect, whatever your knowledge may be, that is imperfect. Because you are gathering knowledge uh, from, by imperfect senses. Uh, you know the story of studying blind man studying an elephant. So blind man is going, somebody is uh, catching the leg. So they know elephant is just like a uh, wheeler, uh, a column. And somebody is standing the tail, somebody is standing the trunk. So different knowledge, because they have no eyes. And one who sees the elephant as it is, he can understand that elephant is neither a Kalam, not a trunk, not this, is a complete body. Similarly, those who are trying to understand the absolute truth by dint of blind knowledge, they come to the understanding of impersonal Brahma, Brahma oh. That is also true, just like you touch the elephant, a blind man touching the elephant, but because he hasn't got eyes, he is concluding that elephant is like, just like a column. Uh, but he has touched, similarly, either the impersonalist or the yogi or the bhakta. They have come to the absolute truth, that which is called Adhaya Jnana. There is no difference between impersonal Brahma and localized Paramatma and the Supreme Personality of God. There is no difference. But it's still there is different. This is called achinta vida vetta. Inconceivable, one and simultaneously different. Uh, the same example can be given that when the sunshine enters into your room, uh, it means that sun has entered. But at the same time, the sun is far, far away from you. Uh, uh, similarly, to Understand Brahma uh, means the absolute truth is Satchidananda, Vigra. Uh, Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigra. If you simply try to understand impersonal Brahma, then you simply understand Sadamsa, the eternity, uh, Paramatma, Chidamsa, and Anandamsa is Krishna. Anandamaya Vyasa. Krishna is the supreme bliss. He, he therefore see Krishna always in God. Jai Radha Madhava Kunya Vihal. That is Krishna. He is always in company with Radharani. 
and Kunja Bihari and enjoying her company in different Kunjas. Uh, and Gopi Janavalla is very dear to the gopis. Ah, uh, the gopis, Gopi Jana. In Vrindavan. Uh, Gopi Jana Valla wa Giri Varadhari. And because he loves the gopis and the inhabitants of Vrindavan so much, as soon as there is some danger, he is prepared. Uh, he lifted the uh, Govardhan hill for them. Uh, they did not know of, except Krishna. Indra, the demigod Indra wanted to punish the residents of Vrindavan because on the word of Krishna they stopped Indra Yoga. So Indra became very angry. Who is this boy? Coward boy. He has stopped my Yoga. So the demigods become very angry if the particular type of Yoga is not performed. But Krishna proved that your anger is not even comparable with the uh, my little fingers end. That's all. Uh, so this was compromise. That was this is Indrajanga story, uh, Govardhan Hill Puja. So Gopijana Vallava Dilvaratha and Jasodanam. When you address Krishna as the son of Jasoda, he becomes very, very glad. If you address Krishna, oh, Parabrahma Paramdhama, as Arjuna address, Parabrahma Paramdhama Kovitam Paramam Bhavan, Sasadam Purusam Madhyam, they are all the Vedic hymns that are praying for Krishna. But Krishna is very, very pleased. If you address Krishna and Jasoda Nanda, Nanda Nanda, Radha Madhu, he is so pleased. Immediately respond. He likes that. Ah, because the Supreme Personality, Godhead, is always worshipped by everyone as sublime. But nobody wants to chastise him. But he wants to be chastised also. And that power is given to Mother Jasoda. He wants. He is disgusted sometimes. Everyone praise me. Nobody comes to chastise me. You see? Oh, here is another devotee. Yes, I am prepared to chastise you. Oh, just like oh, in Vaikuntha, there is no fight. But Krishna wanted to fight. Therefore, some of his devotees, Jayavida, they came as Rava, and he fought with Krishna, Ramchandra. Uh, otherwise, who can fight with Ramchandra? He is also devotee. Uh, but he is satisfied. Krishna wanted to fight. The devotee is prepared. Yes, I shall fight you. And he killed me. This is my pleasure. This is devotee. So these are tattva, tattva jnana, krishna jnana. These are two. People should devote to understand this tattva jnana. <coughs> but those who are not very advanced, they conclude the absolute truth is niraka, impersonal Brahma. Or a little advanced than them, uh, the yogis, they see Paramatma within all. They, they are also the same truth of Dvayana. But if you want real bliss, uh, if you want to talk with this absolute truth face to face and treat with him as friend, as son, as lover, that is uh, Bhagavan. Not impersonal Brahma, neither Paramatma. That we will not do. Therefore, it is said here, the absolute truth he is one. <clears throat> Either you call him Nirakar Brahma or call you him uh, localized Paramatma, he is in my heart. Everyone's heart, Ishara Sarva Bhutanam Nidhi Sarjuna Tishtati. 
But if you want to take advantage of full association of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that is Krishna. That is Krishna. Brahmeti, Paramatmeti, Bhagavaniti, Sardati, Badanti, Tattattavidas, Sardam, Jadgyanam, Ardayam. This is a very important verse. Ah. So, Tattavasti is Ardaya, non dual. There is no difference. The same example that there is the sun planet, there is sun god, ah, whose bodily effulgence is the Sun sign and the sun glow, localized and the sun sign. All these three taken together is one light. But the sun god is different from the sun sign. The sun glow is different from the sun god. Similarly, uh, this Brahma Jyoti is nothing but Krishna's personal effulgence, just a prabha. Uh, just a prabha. We can, we, can, we can say, oh, Krishna is so powerful that he is prabha in Brahma Jyoti. Then why not? If some creation of Krishna, this sunlight and moonlight is so powerful that it expands all over the universe, then how much powerful is Krishna? Brahma Naham Pratishtha, that what Krishna said, I am the source of this Brahma Jyoti. Brahmeti Paramatmeti Bhagavaniti Sabdate. Now, how to understand the absolute truth? The next verse says, Tachyatva dhana munaya jnana vairagva juktaya. Pashanti atmani chatmanam bhaktya suta grihitaya. These are very important words. The absolute truth can be understood, can be known by whom? Saddhadhana munayo. Saddhadhana. Saddhadhana. Those who are faithful. That is the beginning. If one is not faithful, if he does not believe in God, what thing it is, it is to be for God? He cannot understand what is absolute. Uh, atheist who does not believe in God, who has no faith, he cannot, he is not possible. They are not animals. Or all is constantly engaged in sinful activities. They cannot understand. Saddhadhana, Adho Sadhya, those are but faith. That is the beginning. Uh, then Saddhadhana, Simply having faith will not do. Then one must associate with sadhu. Uh, Saddhadhana munaya must be thoughtful. Uh, philosopher munaya. Uh, Saddhadhana munaya. Tarsat Saddhadhana munaya. Jnana vairagva jitta. Simply uh, Mental speculator, philosopher will not do. He must have complete knowledge. And the effect of knowledge must be, he must be renounced without any attachment for material world. Jnana Bhairagva Jukta. Just like in the beginning, we discussed this. Vasudevi Bhagavati Bhakti Yoga Prayajita. Janati asu vairagam jnanam. Vairagam and jnana. We must have complete knowledge of the absolute truth. And at the same time, we must be detached from material sense categories. These two, jnana vairagam jukta. We have got history in our country. Great sages, Muni, Rishi, they used to leave in the forest to culture knowledge and become uh, detached from these material activities. Jnana Vairagya And that is not possible. And in this age, from the very, very beginning of her life, 
we are brought up in big cities like Bombay, Calcutta, London, New York. Then where is the question of going to the forest? Ah, then does it mean that if one cannot go to the forest ah, for acquiring knowledge and detachment, then uh, he has no chance? No. Kaliju, there is a uh, special uh, concession that is given by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You haven't got to go to the forest of Himalaya for attaining jnana and vidyagya. Uh, you can stay in your place. Uh, you can remain in Bombay. You can remain in London. You can remain in New York, big, big cities. And you can perform your prescribed duties. You can remain a businessman. You can remain an engineer or anything. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, he says also from the big sthāne sthita sutivatāṁ tanuvāṁ mano bhi. Jnāne priyāsam madhupāsa namanta eva sanva kuritāṁ bhavadīya vārtāṁ. This was spoken by Ramanandara and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted. Originally this verse was spoken by Lord Brahmā. Ramanandara quoted from the words of Lord Brahmā. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted, yes, this is the process. What is that process? Jnana prayasam yupas. You don't be endeavoring unnecessarily uh, mental exercise to understand what is God, what is absolute Don't bother about this. Then what to do? Namantai. Uh, just become submissive. Then, ah, sarma kalitam bhavudhyo. Just try to hear from a realized soul. This process. Don't try to speculate yourself as great philosopher and waste your time and become part of that I am now realized I am God. These ah, ah, part of position must be given. You must be submissive. Krishna, therefore, wants this submissiveness. Sarva dharma alparitraja, ma mekam saranam. Just like we speak sometimes to our disobedient son. First of all, you submit, then I shall do whatever you are required. The same thing. We have to avoid this material position is we are all part of, unnecessary. Although we are on the grief of material nature, we are very much part of. Then it is agnome. You are beaten. Every step you are so beaten by the material nature. It's still I think I am God. Every step. Oh. This position should be given up. And we have to become Namantaeva, service. Oh. Then becoming submissive, Sanmukhultam Bhavadiya Bhartam. Oh. We have to hear about Krishna, from the Krishna devotee, not from others, not from professional men, not from the impersonalists, uh, even not from the yogis, but from the devotees. Sarma Kharitaṁ Bhavadiya. Because they will misrepresent. A devotee will not, never misrepresent. A devotee will say exactly what Krishna says. will not adulter. That is not his business. Therefore it is recommended that you should hear about the Supreme from the realized devotee. Sam Mukhritam Bhavdi Yobartam Sani Sita Sutigatam Tanumang Monobi. You remain in your position, remain in Calcutta, Bombay or any big city, because nowadays I think this is a city life. Ah, no gentleman, no intelligent man lives in the village. So you remain there. But try to hear from the devotee about Krishna. Then it is said that prayana, ajitopi, Krishna is ajita. Nobody can conquer him. But such devotee who submits himself to hear from the realized soul, Krishna becomes conquered by him. 
ज्ञानवैराग्युक्तया पश्यति आत्मनि च आत्मानम् आत्मनि विद इन हिज हार्ट ही कैन सी द सुप्रीम सोल कृष्ण आत्मानम् भक्त्या देयर इज रियल प्रोसेस भक्त्या बाय मींस ऑफ डिवोशन एंड सर्विस नॉट बाय स्पेकुलेशन और मिस्टिक पाथ दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल देयर वेरी स्पेशल वर्ड इज यूज्ड हियर भक्त्या And in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna also says, not by yoga system, not by jnana system, not by karma system, but bhaktya mama vijana ti jagan dasyami tattva. This tattva means this tattva gya. Bhaktya and what kind of bhakti? Not that simply I sit down and cry little. I practice how to cry. Sentiment. No. Shrutak Vihitaya, understanding about the absolute truth from the Vedic knowledge. Then bhakti. That is real bhakti. Ah, sentiment is not bhakti. Ah, I stand and I little practice how to cry. Oh, this man cries always. Ah, no. Of course, crying is there. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to cry. Uh, but that stage is very very high. It is not possible. Uh, you are crying, but the next moment you are engaged in ordinary things. Uh, that crying is uh, artificial. One who can cry for Krishna, he becomes mad. Uh, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Govinda Birahina. Sunnayatanga Jagat Sarvam. Govinda Birahina. Uh, he says, uh, it's blind. Everything is now over. There is, I cannot see Krishna. So that crying is different crying. Not that in the meeting I cry and I, next moment uh, I am now glad. I, I want this, I want that one. So that not that crying. Chakusha pravisha Sunnāyitam jagat sarvam govinda virahena chaitanā chapsusā prāvishāyitam Just like torrents of rain falls from the sky. So, by govinda virahena, on account of separation from govinda, chapsusā prāvishāyitam sunnāyitam jagat sarvam govinda virahena. So, therefore, here it is particularly said, bhaktyā, Bhaktya means you have to execute the devotional service under the direction of a proper spiritual master. Bhaktya sruta grihitaya, and you have to hear about Krishna. Two things must go on. We, just like here, you find this Archavigra, uh, worshiping the deity is going on. But if Simply this thing go on. It will be happening because none of us are expert. And there must be sutta grihitaya. We must hear about Krishna also. Two things must go on parallel life. Ah. If simply speculation goes on, that will not help us. And then simply ah, ringing the bell goes on. And then that will not happen. That will not. There are temples, many hundreds of thousands, nobody goes. Because there is no sruti, sruta grihita. Then people say, what is that? They are simply ringing the bell, that's all. So two things must go. Bhaktya, sruta grihita. There must be devotional service, discharge of devotional service as they are prescribed in the sasra, as they are guided or ordered by the spiritual master, that will go on. At the same time, we have to hear namantaiva, sutibhāgmanobhi. In this way, it will leave our life. Athāta brahma jīgāsā, jīvasya tattva jīgāsā. If you try to understand the absolute truth, 
This is the process. If we follow, then our life becomes success. Thank you.